Greetings, double viewers. The Good Tonight here. After a bit of a little hiatus, mostly college. Also, crazy pandemic. That's 2020 for you. So, doing a bit of a review, but first off, I wanted to show you guys my cool new little patch from Patch Ops. Cool dudes making essential gear for said pandemic. They don't make this. They just make this. I got this from somewhere else. So, today we are doing a review on the pack zip-on what's it called? Go? the pack zip-on panel 2.0 by Cry Precision they don't make the uh, cool patch I got that elsewhere as well lots of cool stuff just kinda coming together to make cool things happen so the 2.0 that's the differences from the 1.0 what are those differences? I don't really know I've never had the 1.0 but the 2.0 looked particularly neat and I wanted to cover a few things. I couldn't find any actual reviews on the 2.0. I saw a few on the 1.0, which had a few of the, a lot of the similar basics, but 2.0, pretty neat looking. Oh, yeah, those are right off the bat YKK zippers. Always a good sign, but that's cry precision for you. So let's get started with the, I guess, front of the pack, back of the pack, whatever you want to call it, pack of the pack. Big old panel slap right there. Lots of people with big old American flags on there, but you can really, I mean, you do you, so. There's a uh, something in here. I thought it was a pen or I don't really know. It feels like a pen. A little bit of like rubber or something in there to give you a little place to grip onto. Really nice, good addition, because otherwise it'd be awkward to open. You've got this fun little zipper up here, and this is the first thing I want to show off, because this is the only thing I'm actually using right now. Pull the zipper open, I've got batteries. Batteries in there. You can put a notebook or anything if you don't have it elsewhere on your person. You got a little slot for small amenities of that sort. You got your stretchy material here on the sides that you have that helps the pack expand and contract. And then you got your standard sexy material off on the sides. You got your two zippers because it is a zip-on panel after all. You got these little eyelets for attaching to any particular tools or anything off to the side of the bag. And yeah, so now there are two little uh, pockets going on here that we're going to be looking at. So let's start with the uh, main compartment. You pull that open. But again, this nice little grippy tab up here. Very well thought out. Enjoy that very much. And you'll see you've got this little nub up here if you want to put hydration, assuming you're not running it in the back. You've got your mesh up here. And the mesh pocket is actually divided, as I'm going to show you here, into three pieces. But you got this button closure to help uh, hold everything closed when the zipper's all up. So you pop that open, like so. And you pull it in the zipper, and bam, it gives you access to the inner compartment. You got a big old circle there, comes down nice. Again, still stretch on the sides. Two eyelets down there at the bottom, nothing too special. Now, for the uh, portion here, you got some little loops uh, sewn into there, so you can mount anything particular that you need quick access to. This, of course, if you want to mount in a camelback. Now, thing to note, the uh, tall 3 liter. Uh, camelback antidote that I prefer to use is uh, designed for larger plate carriers and uh, well, longer camelbacks. So using the SPC, which would use one of these, was actually only going to fit the shorter one, the three liters. So when that gets in, we'll give that a run and we'll have hydration going from there. But yeah, the, uh, the long one, it's too long. So consideration for carrying hydro. And of course, you would probably want to put that in the back of the mesh here to free up the front area for all the extra stuff, which is my intended purpose. So you got a big old front mesh po or main mesh pocket there, and on the sides of that you've got two divided mesh pockets. So you got a left one and a right one that will each hold extra small things. So you got plenty of space to keep everything organized. Then whatever is left would go in the uh, rest of the main compartment. So pretty cool, pretty neat. So we can go ahead. We're gonna zip that up. Also, again, YKK zippers all throughout. Always good to have. We're going to seal that button there. As you can see, you got your two Velcro attachment points, and that's going to hold the uh, top of this closed when not in use. So that's the uh, main features we got going on. On the back, you got this uh, second little panel here. This is where you're going to keep anything like your, uh, well, what you call it, breaching tools, your bolt cutters, anything that's uh, relatively long and relatively flat as you can fit in there so you pop both of these boys up here and it's got a velcro closure up at the top that helps hold everything closed that's where your main tag is going to be 
these are immediately going to flop down and into your way, so you just kind of, you know, expect that. It's a thing, actually, those are probably better in there anyway. So, you've got a relatively small, relatively thin little lined pouch here to put small quick access things to. Some people have said you can do the hydro from here, and by some people I mean I'm totally just making up statistics off the top of my head like you do. You could probably run one back here, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to, there's just got to find a place to mount the, uh, whatchamacallit, the top of the bag to. So that's cool, you'll notice there's a little, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a little fold in there, that's extra material that comes out down here through the bottom. So if you do have a large tool, that doesn't fit terribly nicely. You pop that little curl thing down here. It's a lot easier to access this from the bottom. And you can yank that out. So your bolt cutters will fit nicely up in this portion here. And if you got a hooligan tool or anything of that sort, you can always pop out this extra Velcro here and I'll get let the whole tool pop out through that end. So everything else can sit up here at the top and rest nicely up against the back of the plate carry. So, it's a cool little piece. Definitely interesting to give yourself some extra room if you want to put stuff in there. Alternatively, that could be your emergency grenade sump. You know, grenade sumps, those things that uh, we like to have in our fighting holes. So, uh, you know, if someone throws a grenade in your bag, you can uh, drop it down to the grenade sump and, uh, well, still die because um, grenade sumps work when they're made out of dirt and in a hole and not so well on your back. But, you know, it's really the thought that counts. So you got that there, that's pretty neat. And to put that back, you just violently jam it back into place. As you can see, the Velcro there, it's gonna mount to the Velcro there, and that's gonna hold it all into place. There's a lot of Velcro going on, let's put it that way. And it doesn't take up all that much space. And it's, again, access it from the bottom. Don't do what I do and jam your arm all the way through here unless uh, you are not into fitness your tag here. By the way, if you're running this on a uh, SPC, you want to get the small medium because it's going to fit all sizes of SPC apparently. Just a thing. I read that on the website and that's a uh, good knowledge. Close that back up there. These tabs come back down. They help hold it shut. And we're ready to mount it. So, mounting process, again, incredibly easy. You've got these two buttons here. What's interesting is these use that same unique material on the JPC uh, I want a couple shoulder straps. I know this is an official term for them. It's not coming to me because it's been a long day and I've been up since very early. So you got that material here and then just simple button closures. You got two of them. Technically, according to the official manual, you really just need these top ones to help hold everything in place. This Velcro matches up on the Velcro on either your JPC or your SPC. And then these two are extra that you can use if you so choose. They'll provide extra stability and support, but you don't really need them because the zippers are going to do a lot of the work in that regard. So. Other advantage to running this on the SPC is if you don't have plate bags, like I'm running to help keep the plates away from sunlight and other things bad for them, you have a plate bag you can throw over and think it'll be okay. I mean, maybe. So, fill this with what you want, particularly hydration and snackies or anything else you're going to need. Then you mount it onto your plate carrier. For the plate carrier portion, I'm going to be assisted by this gaming chair and it's tactical smog, and we're going to give it a hat for good measure. So, if you would be so kind, you can come closer here. You get a nice little view there. So, attachment, pretty easy. You have to take a knee here because I don't own a proper table. That's life in Japan, folks. So we're gonna pop this open here, and these are gonna go up in these straps here. Usually you're not gonna be getting too much out of these because they're gonna be folded over on the plate. But, hey, we actually have a use for them now, so. Very carefully and diligently, you're going to want to slide that in through there and pop that on the closure. See? Easy. So this is actually incredibly simple. Um, I don't know if this will be entirely necessary for a video. If you have the components, it's very easy to find out. And if you don't and you're curious as to how all this goes together, then uh, you've come to the right place because that's more or less what drives my decision to purchase a lot of gear, is how the hell does this all work? What does it do? What does it come with? And when there's no reviews, that just pushes me even farther to buy expensive stuff that I probably don't need. So you clip those on there, and you're technically good. You got uh, that attached. That Velcro's gonna do a lot of the work. You could attach these down here 
it's a huge pain. It takes a bunch of time. For, for, so for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to do it. After this video, oh, absolutely. I don't want to do a shenanigans. Also, you'll see up here, we've got our two side magazine pouches. This is an interesting decision because this allows you to have your two extra mags that are low on the sides popping out of the ends of your camel, of your uh, plate carrier. Useful because when you're carrying heavy weights, you either want it really close to the back or you want it very low, preferably a combination of the two for the heavier things. If you ever loaded the pack, that's the secret. So putting them low on the back is absolutely brilliant. With the uh, tag pouch I have, they're up high and they're a little bit farther away from the back because you have the camel back up front. So you got a bit of a weight shift issue there, but yeah, not a big deal. So off on the sides here, you take the zipper, you want to bring it all the way up to the top. You're going to fold your zipper outwards so that the two connect, and then you just zip that on down. Bam. Now this is going to be a little bit longer than the plate carrier because that gives you the extra space as well as the access to those magazine things. So when sitting around and doing nothing, the uh, extra mag space supposedly is supposed to sit underneath the plate. But there's not a whole lot of room for that, so they just kind of hang out there. However, again, there's um, a good deal of uh, space. So these mag pouches are pretty stiff, so you don't have to worry about the pouches or anything actually pushing into your lower back or rubbing against your IFAC or anything you have on your belt line. Fantastic. Now, we've got our pack attached on, a, on the very quick end where you don't have it on the long-term lower portions. So you take your mags. A little Gen 3, uh, was it M3, yeah, Michaels, very, very sexy mags. You just sort of like wedge those in there, if you need them. If you don't need them, you don't have to use them, but, I mean, it just looks cool, and looking cool is the secret, so you pull those up there, and bam. Now, what they don't tell you is when you insert both of these wings, not unlike Buzz Lightyear, you gain the power to fly, or at least glide with style that's the whole point that's what i mean cry was watching caleb cry staying in his office one day watching toy story and he's like you know what i know what this pack needs and that's how he invented the pack it's true it's in the phone interview i never did with him because i don't have his phone number i mean he probably has a he would have a restraining order if i did all right come on obey me i am your master your results may vary. So you jam those in there. Why is that one fitting so much better? There we go. Yeah, you can get those pretty deep in there. If you know what I mean. So yeah, those are wedged in there. Everything's good. Let's go ahead and we're going to throw on our plate carrier. <coughs> Camera up, please. Thank you. So you grab this. Ah. You get smacked with a plate right in the nose because you are a YouTube professional. <laughs> actually got me pretty good. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Alright, so. Plates go in. Ah. Ooh, that's comfy. So there you go. We got our plate back. Oh, my zipper came up. Instead of down. You, I mean, you get the idea. So. Plate. Mags on the sides. Look at that. Right where you can reach them. It's your nice little power thing. So you go. You know what? There's it. There's your <laughs> so apparently shortly after Toy Story, you also ended up watching several very ninja anime videos. And that's exactly how it goes. So you got access to those. They pop out slightly from the sides, but I don't have my placard on. So if I was running, anything I need to do is slow or reload. How does that work? So I got our gun. We go pew 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 pew. Oh no, we're dry. Pop that tab down. Reach it to the side. Give it a nice. Power. Pull! Uh, Alright. You might die doing this. So, maybe not. <laughs> Accurate, immediate action. Mag pull, why? Uh, how about this one? Nope, same difference. How about both at once? Alright, I'm gonna dislocate my shoulder. Alright, so, um, you have two extra mags, but <laughs> your access to them may vary. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad we learned that now and uh, not when we needed to. However, 
if you can get these out, you could probably fit stagnags in there just fine because they tend to be a lot slicker. I'm grabbing an airsoft one here because it's lying around. Much slicker, much easier to pull out of the uh, bag so you um, don't end up with a bunch of children and child support payments. There we go! Oh, right up in the deltoids. Ooh, yeah, let's see if we can get this one. All right. Ah. All right, so you got, I got one. That still counts. This one's not going nowhere, so <laughs> take uh, this guy here. Let's see if I can prove my, I guess I don't need to. But yeah, you can fit these ones in there. They're much easier to pull out. So maybe Stagnags back there. Maybe save your uh, M3s for um, places you can actually get them. Oh, <sighs> oh my god. High speed reloads. So that's the thing you can do. And as you can see, there's a good little stiffness there, so it's not going to fold inwards. And you fill it up with all the cool, fun stuff. Anyway, so... That is pretty much everything that goes into our ninja pack. You can fit anything magazine shaped in there, cell phones, stuff of that nature. And I've already injured myself twice on video today, so I think we're good for the review. The nose feels better though, so. So, if you have any questions about this thing or how it works or any of that stuff, hopefully I was able to answer the question by showing you guys a video of how it works. And if you still happen to have any questions, feel free to uh, comment them down below and I'll get to you at my earliest convenience. So, cheers everyone, stay chivalrous. Um, key takeaways, don't, don't rely on magpoles out of a back pocket for anything, because you'll probably die, and uh, don't slap yourself in the front face directly on the nose with a plate, because it's unpleasant. And in addition, if you're running an SPC or anything where the plates are exposed, do get some type of nylon cover and protect your plates. It'll probably be off in the end. Does the UV light eat straight through the nylon into the plate anyway? That's a question for someone more knowledgeable than me. Cheers everyone, I'll see you in the next video.